think there's a lot of confusion from people and this is partly perpetuated by people who call themselves coaches but just really give advice and not that there's anything wrong with giving advice but some people get this idea that that's what a coach is supposed to do. So I'm not really going to try to clarify something that other people are um, basically confusing other people with their marketing, which I don't want to do here. So the word advice, let's start with the word advice. That is actually two words, the word add and the word vice. And an ad is something that is out there. And the whole purpose of an ad is to convince you to buy something like buy this because it's in the ad and I put it in your face. And so I want you to buy it. And that's basically what an ad is. Now vice, vice is something that's bad. You, you take up a vice like drinking, overeating, overworking, whatever. So a vice is frequently something that's done to excess in a bad way. So when we're talking about advice, it's exactly as it sounds. You have the ad, which is somebody trying to sell you something, sell you on an idea, on whatever it is that they're trying to convey to you or trying to get you to do because somehow it benefits them when they give you ad. I mean, that's why ads are put out there so the person offering the product or service can make money. It's not for your benefit, it's for their benefit. And vice is something that people do to access in a negative way. So advice is when you take an ad and listen to it excessively and then you automatically have to, you automatically feel you have to buy it because that's what advice is. Now, when you hire me as a coach, advice will not be a thing. Because I realize that there are a lot of people for whom ads are a vice. They feel that if something is presented to them as something they should buy, then they need to do it excessively to the point where it's having a negative effect on their life. So yeah, that's what advice is. 